Hello and welcome. This is a lesson about putting on a shoulder rest. If you're new to the violin, this can seem really complicated and confusing. So I'll, I'll show you two different designs that you may well have, one or, one or the other you may have, and these are ones that I see really commonly with my students. I'll start with the easiest one. Okay, so this shoulder rest is a little bit more simple to work out because it's got a really obvious uh, larger side and smaller side. So it's really important to be able to identify which one is which. So first of all, we wanna find out which is the larger side. So I've got my fingers on it there. So that's one thing that's really important to remember. The next thing is looking at your violin and noting where the chin rest is, okay? Follow it round and you've got this silver metal that goes round to the back. Most violins have that same setup. Some have a slightly different setup where the, where the chin rest sits a little bit more in the middle of the instrument. That might be slightly confusing, but for most um, violins, it's going to be on that side. Okay, so they're two important things to note. Let's have a close up look at the actual shoulder rest and what you have here is you've got um, little feet on the on the edge there and the idea is that the these actually stick on to the edge of the wood of the violin and there's that bit of the wood that sticks out and it's sort of like we could call it the lip of the, the the wood and the idea is that that sits in these in the groove in here Okay, so what you need to do is make sure that the feet are all facing inwards, okay? So that's first. All right, and then remember which is your big side and keep that handy. All right, now work on your lap because if you, if you do this on, the, on a hard floor or on a, on a desk, you're, you're likely to do damage to your violin and that's not good at all. So these parts in here, the bridge and the strings are so fragile, so we always protect them. So on your soft lap, turn the violin upside down. Just change the camera angle a little bit so you can see. All right, so what I have here is the, the silver and I also have the shoulder rest and remembering which is the big side. So first of all, turn the feet to the right direction. We want to slide it on so that those little feet latch onto the edge of that um, piece of wood. Once you've got it in place, you can, you can see when it's latched on. Put your hand there and hold it in place and then the other side just slides on. Then just make sure it's secure by giving it the slightest just check on there with your hand, okay, so that it's not going to fall off when you play. All right, so that is putting on the shoulder rest. It does require a bit of practice. And if I want to take it off, I just simply slide it off that way and it comes off. So a good practice is to just keep your hand there and just practice the on and off slide until you get really confident with that. Okay, now the next one I'll show you is a little bit more tricky. And the reason being is because the two sides look almost the same. They're quite similar in their, their width. So I'll point out to you now which is the widest side, which is this one. And it's just, it's not very obvious, but there it is. Okay, now the other reason it's confusing is because of this um, design here. And it's, it's actually a really, really clever design because it doesn't come off the violin all that easily. But to when you look at it, it looks really confusing. So you've got this groove design and just like the wood sat inside the feet last time, it's the same concept, but this time it's, it's sort of a longer section in here. So it's a bit more secure the way it holds onto the lip of the wood. Same with that one there. So first of all, you turn your, turn the feet inwards like that. So it's in the right position and get your large side and again work on your lap so it's nice and safe and find out where the silver is and we're going to line up the large side so it's really a, just a slide on 
and you can feel when it's sitting in the, in the groove, it's very secure once it's sitting in the groove. Put your hand there to keep it in place and then the other side slides on and you can feel when it's in place, it'll just stay on there quite firmly and you shouldn't have any trouble with it falling off. Okay, so to get this one off, again, you just slide. You don't need to force anything at any stage. You certainly don't wanna just pull it off that way because that's gonna break these feet and that's, that's um, quite a common problem that happens to these when, when they're not handled correctly. So please just be ever so careful when you're sliding it on and off. Just do it that way, not, not forcing it. Okay, so I'll just show you there. There's the larger side next to the silver. Okay, if you put it up on your shoulder and it feels terribly uncomfortable, you've most likely put it on backwards and you've put your small side next to the silver. And that's a common mistake that people make. So just give that an extra check.